bring them to our guys that rebuild them. Summerford Pallet Company recycles pallets and has two locations, one in Ashford and the other in Poplarville, Mississippi. Oh, no, you broke it. It was first established in 1994, but Summerford Truck Line has been around since 1928, when great-granddaddy Joe Summerford, at the young age of 15, traded a bird dog for his very first truck. I can't tell you that our pallets any greater, better, anything else. What we have is we have the best service in the industry. I went there with the intention of learning how to drive a big rig. But before I could test my abilities as a truck driver, I got a little bonus. They wanted to see if I could manage a forklift first before they put me behind the wheel of a semi. And honestly, I don't blame them. Forklift driving 101. First thing first. You always have to put on your safety, your safety belt. Okay. All right, safety first, so. So, do you know how to drive a stick shift? No. You're good. You don't need to know how to drive. Okay, good. Forward. That's not my blinker. That's not your blinker. <laughs> we, we don't have to worry about blinkers a whole lot out here. <laughs> but you do have to. That was a joke. You oh, have to do that. That means get out there the way. That means I'm coming through. Well, well, I hope I'm not going to break anything, is what I hope. Or I may, be, I may be working here full time to pay off my debt. Is this a requirement if you drive one of these? Gotta have. <laughs> no, I'm going to pass. Collectively, the two businesses employ some 200 employees here in the Wiregrass. The family owned company has withstood the times over four generations, and today John Summerford owns them. But they are managed by John's son and grandson. Our drivers typically make between 55 and 90 a year, and so they can get paid real good money for driving a truck all day. I'm going to go get this. <laughs> no, wrong way. Wrong way. I hope nobody's in front of me. I can't see where I'm going. So when I finally started to get the hang of how to drive a forklift, they wanted to see if they could stump me with an even higher pile of pallets. But much to my cameraman's dismay, I actually passed the test and didn't drop any. What do I say? I'm a very safe driver. When I finally graduated from the forklift, it was on to the main event to learn how to drive an 18-wheeler. There's plenty of room to make turns. And That's right. You should be good. Where's your little horn where you go like this? It doesn't. Choo -choo. Like this. Oh, I can't even reach the pedals. I gotta. Tanya, are you, are you passing gas right now? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. All right, y'all ready? Hold on. I'm not ready. Can I get out of here real quick? Hold what you got. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bumpy ride, kids. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I'm pretty sure you need a CDL license to drive one of these. Y'all ready? Uh, uh. I had to do that. Okay, y'all hold on. Y'all got y'all seat belts on, y'all babe. You need to buckle up back there. Where's my uh my radio? This one. Breaker one nine ten one ten four. Copy. Back to you. I feel like smoking in the band All right, we're going to do a little turn, everybody. we got a long way to go. Short time to get there. All right, now, I don't know what I'm doing. I, you don't trust me to do it. Go around, okay, we're going to do this one. Are we going to do what they say can be done? We've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Time is kind of like a bandit run. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Did you see that? I think I did. No way. I think I, he helped a little. I think it was all mainly me though, but just maybe a smidge of help. Is that it? Oh my gosh, you're a trucker, Johnny. I think I am. Where's your trucker hat? <laughs> I need one, don't I? Put your arm work hat on this one. Come on, Cletus! You saw me out there trying to manage that forklift. Honestly, how, how do you think I did? 
I, I'll be 100% honest with you. Uh, you didn't drop anything, so you are. W and and Dustin kind of got us to sabotage a little bit. That was higher than we usually do it. Uh, so, but you did just right when you ease and you go along. It's when you try to go real fast and stop real fast. Never, never a good. So, would y'all don't have any female employees uh, for the pallet company? But would you hire me? I, I I would think we we would hire you. I don't know that we'd hire you as a builder. Uh, <laughs> the, the nail. I would. I would. There may be some casualties in with that involved. But uh, yeah. But on the, on the Fort Lift, you know, if you were if you were getting paid on production, you may be hungry. But uh, you 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 were doing you were doing pretty good. I have to admit. Well, thank you. I'm ready to hire you. Yeah, absolutely. We'll put you on the road. We'll put you in the training truck. We're ready to go. You ready to take a load to California? Well, I've always wanted to go to California. So you think I'm ready? Yeah, come on. Like okay. All part. right. Sounds good. A day in the life, sponsored by Ted's Temps, ready to work. I can't believe that I did not drop any pallets. And Dustin, our cameraman, he definitely wanted me to. I think he would set me up for disaster. I think you did a great job. Yeah. And I think what the employer <laughs> said, he would hire you. So <laughs> I'm excited to get started with you next week. I on am these too. Segments. Caroline's going to join us next week on our Day in the Life segment. So we, uh, good luck. Just buckle up. I mean, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready to, ready be, for to anything get crazy. And everything? I'm okay. ready. Let's All do right. it. You're not afraid to make fun of yourself <laughs> no, on camera? No, absolutely right. not. <laughs> All right. Well, in all seriousness, a big thanks to Summerford Truck Line and Pallet Company there in Ashford for allowing us to come out and visit them. And I do want to mention that they are hiring for information on how you can apply for their, uh, one of their jobs. You can head on over to our website at dothanfirst.com to watch more on that. Also, a huge thank you to Ted's Temps for sponsoring that segment every week. And if you need a job, you can also contact their contact information, I should say, is on our website as well. So go check them out.